All right, everyone, we are here with War 7 against Maiden Brazil. I will be taking in Human Torch, Dr. Doom, and Mr. Negative. My path assignments are Path 8 in Section 1 and Path 4 in Section 2. I am on boss duty with Mr. Negative vs. Mojo. All right, so the first fight is this Nova on return policy. Um, and there's a power drain associated with buffs here. I'm just blanking on the name. Um, so game plan here, we're not going to be able to make it to SP3 unless we luckily do so through uh, Mystic Dispersion. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of attack heavy so that we keep staggers up and we nullify buffs and a lot of throwing SP1 to nullify the buffs that we miss with the stagger. Um, but also, if we decide to throw SP2, we would prefer to throw it without the aura up so that it isn't unblockable and doesn't get its damage reduced uh, due to Nova's abilities. So I'm using an invulnerability boost just in case return policy does push into SP3 and I end up eating SP3. I don't think we get close through this fight at all. So trying to re-parry if he ever throws a light, but you saw the double mediums there, so always just need to be aware of that. Um, luckily, if you do see that and you react fast enough, you can attack him because he finished a combo into your block. It does have Divine Intervention, so you are going to see me try and throw SP1 when it's down instead of when it's up. And right now it's on cooldown. Missed the SP1 dodge there, so our invulnerability boost is gone. Through this SP1 so we can drain some power. Alright, that pushed him to SP2, but luckily all the buffs are off. We bait and dodge that one. And there I thought he was gonna come in, so no big deal. Gonna end up getting him to another SP2 here and baiting that out. So the fight's going pretty smooth, nothing special here. It's not your, I think none of the three Doom fights I have, I'm able to do the Doom rotation for, so this is just blast, 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 blast. He's unblockable, so we gotta be careful. Intercepted there, but luckily he didn't have a Fury up. Probably didn't have enough Nova charges, and down he went, so. Clean fight, except for eating that SP1. Moving on to Power Snack, and we have Dr. Doom on Power Snack, so. Dr. or a Mystic here is probably the. Any Mystic here is usually the easiest for Mr. Negative, um, but Doom does cause some concerns just because of how hard he hits, both through block and in your face. Um, so we have to be careful here of unfazed. Luckily, it should be over after two or three evade heavy counters. Um, here I'm trying to build up just shy of 10 dark energy so that I only have to evade counter one more time before dropping SP2 and hopefully keep it in the window when the, his aura is down. So his aura is up now. I'm gonna try and bait out this SP1 so that the aura doesn't refresh. And now that it's paused, we're gonna keep him just shy of a bar, evade counter, and throw the SP2. And this should melt him. It's gonna hit backup recovery. Now we're just gonna focus on beating him in the face until he dies. Decided to throw a random heavy there. And I believe he just dies from heal reversal. Yep. So, smoothest Doom fight I've had. Okay, this is my only Human Torch fight, so I placed the pre-fight and I quit out of the game so that I made sure it was placed. Um, game plan here is just to do medium light and block a ton of hits to keep temperature up. So, I prefer medium light, and you're going to see why later on in the video. Uh, it's so that I always, I can always retaliate either a heavy or a special attack without him evading. Because if I ended with a medium, I'd be coming in with a medium and he'd evade. So 
I accidentally do it once where I give him one medium hit and I back out. And I so I knew the evade was gonna come and I prepared for it. But medium light, medium light, parry if we can. Was not expecting to stun him there. He's not really into throwing SB1 right here. It's Prowl S is staying down. He's already at 50%, so fight's going really smooth. I'm gonna try and bait this out. Pretty sure this is where I throw. There it is. He's still not really throwing it. Here's the evade, and he threw it. So good. I was ready for it. Got the block up. Really smooth, blocking the first two hits of his SP1 and then dexing out in the middle so that we don't trigger dexterity and give him any extra power. And he's just melting, so. Smooth mo or smooth maw fight. All right, so these last three fights I actually took in the morning and they just so happen to be the last three fights of the war. It's 147 to 143 as far as fights taken, and we are winning four to one, or four to three, sorry, not four to one. There was only one more death, and we would have lost by time. So we are winning four to three, but losing in time. So if I die on any of these fights, it's going to be game over. Um, so I won't spoil it. First two fights here on path four, nothing to worry about with Super Skrull besides knowing that he's shock immune, so I can't medium heavy and that he has his falter. So I just need to be mindful of where the timer is. So game plan was just to parry heavy him the whole time so that we can keep his buffs down, just to prevent him from getting an unblockable buff, but also to feed Mystic Dispersion. Um, and my plan also was to throw SP1 to nullify any buffs that the stagger don't, doesn't get. So game plan's going well so far. I'm gonna bait out this SP1 and it should take up the timer of falter. So when I come out of it, when he ends the SP1, I'm just going to throw this SP3 so that we can remove the falter naturally. And he's going to come out of this with a passive stun. So we can actually use that passive stun to eat up some of the time. Now, I had forgotten about the falter after the SP3. So you see me, medium heavy. <laughs> it's all right. Stun timer is longer than the falter. So you just know it for next time. So you're going to see the next SP3. We're not going to be so dumb as to throw a medium heavy. We're just going to wait and throw a heavy. <laughs> so here we are again, just parry heavy. I'm at SP3. Now we're going to try and bait out this SP1. And then Falter is going to place. I'm going to throw the SP3 again. Miss the perfect. Dang it. And now we're gonna wait and heavy in a KSO <laughs> KOs. So <laughs> pretty fun finish to the super scroll. Moving on to Warlock. I was curious and I had asked if this node, because it has heal block, was going to cause the degen from the signature ability as soon as infection got up. I was told probably not. Now it does work that way on path eight, but even without the infection, because it's a power drain debuff. Um, and anytime you're power drained versus warlock. Uh, you take degen. So, uh, was curious if I had to take willpower off. So we're gonna find out here. Decide to use this SP1 before I get infected, in the hopes that I can throw SP2 here. But I ended up getting degen. So now my power's dropping. So SP2 isn't in reach. At least it's not flowing with the sp the fight. This is pretty much threw the SP3 gameplay out of the window, or out the window. But still, I'm not degening like crazy. As long as we don't take any extra hits to the face, we should be okay. I can't doom rotation, not just because of the infection or the degen with the power drain. I shouldn't be able to do the doom rotation because his infection reduces offensive ability accuracy. And if I push him to SP3 and use my SP3, there's a chance I come out without the stun on and then I just eat SP3. So down he went. So we made it through path four without losing the war. All right, now the big bad boss. Last fight of the entire war for the entire alliance. Um, Mojo boss. This is the fourth one I've taken this season, but I've taken more than that in two seasons. Um, so we're very comfortable with this fight. However, I decide to continue doing the trick I was doing last war 
except with a little bit of a different twist at the start. So what you're gonna see, I decided to be a bit more aggressive and not worry about building light so much before I even have a bar of power. Um, so I'm gonna try and push him back here as much as I can before I get to 10 light energy. So going well so far, pushing him back. Now we're at SP1, so maybe we can build some more light. I decide to bait this out and convert it. Now we're gonna build some more light as we push him to SP1, and we're gonna do the same thing. Trying to bait this out, here we go. Nope, I'm gonna wait a little bit more. We can go over here as long as he's at SP1, so I saw a window to push him there. Now I'm gonna try and back him up if he's not gonna throw this. And now, convert. So now we're at 14 dark energy with an SB2, and we're gonna let it rip. Now he's gonna tick, 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 two petrifies. So you're gonna see a prompt activate during these double petrifies. It's gonna make him lose power, which is awesome. There's a hater buff that I did not see during the fight. I was purely focused on trying to make room. <laughs> um, we have one more hit of the invulnerability left. So the game plan here would have been to use SP1 and convert light energy, and then when we're ready for SP2, get hit again so that we're over 10 dark energy. Um, so I threw this into the block, and then for some reason I decided to try and intercept there, but obviously that failed. So the indestructible's gone, or invulnerability boost is gone. So now I have to stick with my usual game plan when it came to doing this. Failed the dodge SP2 there. Luckily he's at one prompt, so I'm healing from this degen. So he's at, I'm at eight dark energy here, so we're good. I'm gonna drop this other SP2. It should put him close to the dead. Hopefully. I really should have just blocked that SP2. I had two bulwark buffs on. So tick, 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 tick. This is gonna should drop him into assassin range even more. Alright, so last 10%. We're not gonna make it to another SP2. So we're just gonna throw SP1 get that bulwark so that we don't worry about much block damage here at the end. Is that 2%? And this should do it. So we ended up winning this war. So another much needed win for us to try and get back in the top 10. Uh, BG2 ended up dying less than their uh, BG2. And as I spoiled earlier, we actually won this war four to three. So Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed it.